Hold everything. Today, I'm diving into something absolutely extraordinary that you can't afford to miss. Picture this. You have a gut feeling about someone, an instinct so powerful it's like the universe itself is whispering secrets to you. What if I told you that this intuition isn't just a random hunch, but a deep, undeniable truth? We're about to uncover why your instincts about this person are completely accurate, and I guarantee the insights you'll gain will leave you both astonished and empowered. So stick with me, because what you're about to learn will forever change the way you understand your connection with this person. Curious about how they truly feel about you right now? Ready to unveil the hidden truths your intuition has been leading you toward? The Hermit card reveals that your person is embarking on a profound inward journey today. They're in a state of deep reflection and introspection, seeking healing and clarity as they focus on you and the connection you share. This is a very private and intimate process for them, indicating they might be someone who values solitude. During this time, they hold you close within their heart and soul, cherishing your bond on a deeply internal level. They're tuned into divine guidance, and this journey isn't just about self-discovery, it's also about understanding and moving closer to you. Through this introspection, they're reconnecting with their true self and finding a stronger alignment with the path that leads to you. So, how are they really feeling? Your person is fully enveloped in their emotions, and the word escape perfectly reflects their current mindset. They're on a private, introspective journey, possibly trying to distance themselves from a difficult situation or seeking comfort through a form of escapism. However, this isn't about escaping into negativity or unhealthy habits. Instead, they're using this time for deep reflection, aiming to gain a higher perspective on their life and your connection. The chariot represents the two of you working together, whether consciously or subconsciously, to overcome the illusions and constraints of the false matrix. This could relate to societal pressures, fears, or limiting beliefs that have held them back. They're engaged in profound soul-searching, striving to transcend these obstacles, and they find a sense of euphoria with you, a joy and transcendence that helps them rise above these challenges. Your connection is not merely physical, it's a spiritual, transcendental experience that is helping them escape and move forward, overcoming the barriers that have been in their way. They're experiencing an extraordinary sense of bliss and unity with you, feeling that your connection is something far beyond the ordinary. It touches the divine. This bond feels eternal, bringing them into a state of pure love and joy, as if they're experiencing heaven on earth by being with you. The love they feel is incredibly intense, filling them with a sense of nirvana, a perfect peace and happiness that only deepens their connection with you. The electricity they feel is almost tangible, their heart races with excitement and euphoria, energized by the power of your bond. They're eager to draw closer to you, to elevate your relationship to new heights. Yet, this is a journey for them, one where they're finding their way through the overwhelming love and longing they feel. This electric pull towards you is irresistible, guiding them toward a deeper, more spiritual union. As they move closer, they're drawn by the magnetic force of your connection, bringing them ever nearer to experiencing true heaven on earth with you. During this time of deep reflection, they're in hermit mode, turning inward to rediscover themselves. They want to comfort you, assuring, it's all right, don't worry, as they work through this personal journey. Although they're encountering challenges, they're starting to glimpse the light. A breakthrough is within reach. This inward journey is guiding them to a place of peace and reassurance, where they feel supported not only by divine guidance, but also by your presence in their life. They're gaining strength and clarity in this solitude, realizing they don't need to worry as much. This introspective phase is essential for them as they confront and overcome their inner struggles, enabling them to move forward with renewed confidence. They're gradually breaking through the barriers that once held them back, emerging with a deeper understanding and a stronger connection to both themselves and you. Their reassurance of, it's okay, 
Don't worry, reflects their growing sense of peace and the support they feel as they continue to find their path. Now, as I was mentioning before the camera stopped, the Eight of Swords symbolizes a mental prison, indicating that they feel stuck or confined in some way. This card often suggests that they're trapped, not necessarily by external circumstances, but by their own thoughts and perceptions. They may find themselves surrounded by overwhelming circumstances, as if they've built up walls around themselves that now feel suffocating. This sense of confinement likely stems from their relentless pursuit of success, whether in their career, social status, or other aspects of life. The imagery of buildings and people represents the structures and expectations that have grown around them, creating a feeling of being trapped. While these accomplishments might appear impressive on the outside, they've also contributed to their sense of entrapment. However, their inward focus, as they retreat into their private inner world, acts as a form of escape from these pressures. This introspective journey is their way of seeking clarity and relief from the mental prison they feel stuck in. By turning inward, they're searching for a path to break free from the confining thoughts and circumstances that have been holding them back. They're beginning to realize that the key to their freedom lies within themselves. By shifting their mindset, they can start to break down the barriers that have kept them stuck. What's happening is that they've created certain structures or ways of living that have now become restrictive, almost like a prison of their own making. The Eight of Swords symbolizes this feeling of being trapped, trapped by fear, stress, and an overactive mind. It's as though they're caught in a cycle of unconscious patterns and illusions, unable to see beyond the walls they've built around themselves. This sense of entrapment might be tied to the pressures of conformity or societal expectations, which have caused them to lose touch with their true self and desires. However, there's a glimmer of hope, the presence of source energy, represented by the sun. The sun symbolizes illumination, clarity, and the potential for successful transformation. It brings light to the dark corners of their mind, revealing the unconscious patterns that have held them back. This signifies a breakthrough, a chance to transcend the obstacles and illusions that have kept them trapped. They're awakening from the social matrix and the pressures of conformity that have made them feel disconnected from their true path. Despite facing challenges, there's a powerful force guiding them toward liberation. The influence of the sun indicates they're approaching a moment of clarity, where they can release the outdated structures that no longer benefit them. Although this process may be uncomfortable, as it involves facing fears and breaking away from the familiar, it's also profoundly freeing. They are being led to see beyond the illusions, gain clear insight, and move towards a life that aligns more closely with their authentic self and purpose. Currently, they're trapped in a cycle of overthinking and insecurity, feeling confined by their own fears and doubts. They need reassurance because they're struggling to intuitively understand your feelings towards them. They worry about how you view them and fear that you might have a negative perception of them. This anxiety creates a mental prison, trapping them in confusion and self-doubt. Despite their deep, genuine feelings for you, symbolized by the three cups, they are overwhelmed by fears of rejection and uncertainties about your shared connection. The imagery of you surrounded by a cloud and them enveloped by ivy illustrates the emotional barriers and misunderstandings between you. The cloud represents the uncertainty and confusion surrounding your feelings, while the ivy symbolizes their tangled and confining fears and doubts. Their emotions for you are deep and genuine, reflecting their sincere affection. They see and appreciate the love and warmth you offer but their internal struggles create a barrier that prevents them from fully embracing this connection. They need to work through these emotions and overcome the illusions of their mental prison to fully experience and reciprocate your love. Your person may be struggling with the fear that their love for you is greater than your love for them, sensing an imbalance in the emotional exchange. They recognize their own deep feelings, represented by the three cups, but may not fully see that you are offering them the Ace of Cups, which symbolizes the pure and abundant love you are extending. 
This misalignment in perception fuels their anxiety and self-doubt. Yet, significant progress is being made. Their journey began with the Hermit card, symbolizing a deep dive into introspection and the search for inner illumination. This inner quest has been further brightened by the Sun card, which signifies joy, clarity, and successful transformation. This breakthrough is profound, marking a transition from their mental entrapment, represented by the Eight of Swords, to a state of greater confidence and self-assurance. The influence of the Sun and the theme of achievement indicate a newfound clarity and an understanding of the true depth of your connection. Their journey is guiding them to recognize and embrace the mutual love between you, moving beyond past illusions and stepping into a more confident and enlightened phase in your relationship. It's as though both you and your person are on this introspective path together, each embodying the hermit energy. This might mean that both of you are feeling somewhat reserved or introspective as you navigate this journey side by side. You both are offering your hearts, yet there's a sense of holding back or concealing your true vulnerabilities from one another. Despite this, the period of retreat and self-reflection is giving way to a time of clarity and connection. As you both come out of this introspective phase, you'll start to face each other's emotions and true selves more openly. The confidence represented by the Sun's solar plexus energy suggests that a deeper level of vulnerability is becoming accessible. This journey involves overcoming fears of loss and confronting the societal pressures and expectations that have contributed to feelings of entrapment. It mirrors a significant transformation, similar to a death and rebirth, where old illusions and limitations are being released. The achievement here is not just about personal growth, but about building a more open and authentic connection between you. It's about moving past previous fears and barriers to embrace a renewed and deeper understanding of each other, setting the stage for a more genuine and fulfilling relationship. Your person is particularly eager to break free from the constraints imposed by societal norms or other limiting aspects of their daily life. They are navigating a complex emotional landscape, where the instinct to protect themselves and build walls serves as a defense mechanism while they work through their own restrictions and vulnerabilities. This defensive posture is a temporary measure, as they are deeply engaged in the process of releasing these limitations to embrace a fuller, more open experience. Despite their need for self-preservation, there is an undeniable thrill and sense of adventure that accompanies their connection with you. Being with you ignites a profound sense of freedom and expansion, as if together you are embarking on a journey toward personal and mutual liberation. Your relationship embodies a dynamic of mutual growth and exploration. The excitement and spontaneity you share push both of you out of your comfort zones, fostering an environment where hearts can open more fully and freely. The connection between you symbolizes a journey of discovery, where each moment spent together unveils new dimensions of yourselves and each other. This union brings a boundless euphoria, reflecting the essence of twin flames or soulmates, an extraordinary alignment of energies where yin and yang harmoniously blend. Your relationship is like a perfect fusion of complementary forces, where the integration of light and shadow aspects creates a profound sense of unity. This connection resonates with a deep spiritual fulfillment, as if you are each the key that unlocks the other's hidden potential. The harmony and balance you achieve together exemplify a remarkable spiritual alignment, where the merging of your energies brings about a state of completeness. The liberation they feel in your presence underscores the significance of this connection, highlighting the essence of a soulmate or twin flame bond. In you, they find not only a companion, but a profound and transformative force that completes and elevates their soul's journey. The newfound confidence they're experiencing is deeply connected to the divine masculine energy of the sun and the solar plexus, symbolizing self-assurance and inner strength. This newfound courage allows them to move forward boldly and communicate their genuine feelings to you. The sun's bright energy enhances their clarity and optimism about your connection, inspiring them to express their emotions and intentions more openly. They see you as the source of this renewed confidence, 
making them feel more secure and ready to share their true self with you. If this message resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. Your likes, shares, and subscriptions are greatly appreciated and help immensely with the algorithm. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Think of the sun shining above a big, open field. Just like the sun is always there in the sky, giving light and warmth every day, God is always with us. Even when clouds cover the sun, we know it's still there. In the same way, even when we face hard times and can't see Him, God stands by us. He's always there, just like the sun shining above. Today, let us explore the unshakable presence of God in our lives. Understanding His guidance, drawing strength from Him, and learning how to live in the light of His unwavering love and support. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, we are reassured, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are a powerful reminder of God's constant presence and protection. Just as the sun's rays reach out to touch the earth, God's hand is always extended to us, offering strength, guidance, and a steadfast presence in every moment of our lives. With this divine assurance, let us explore the depths of God's ever-present support. Exploring how His unchanging love and strength are our constant companions on this journey of life. Now, let us seek to understand the dynamics of God's presence. God's presence in our lives is an ever-present, life-sustaining force, much like the air we breathe. Invisible to our eyes, yet absolutely essential for our existence. The scripture in Acts 17 verse 28 highlights this truth, for in Him, we live and move and have our being. This profound declaration reminds us that our very existence, every movement, and the essence of our being are deeply intertwined with the presence of God. It's a presence that doesn't fluctuate or diminish. It's constant, unwavering, and always available. We may not always perceive it through our physical senses, but it's as real and vital as the air that we depend on every second of the day. This divine presence goes beyond mere existence. It is the source of our strength, our joy, and our peace. In every challenge we face, God is there, upholding us with His righteous right hand. In moments of joy, His presence amplifies our happiness, reminding us of His everlasting love and care. In times of sorrow or uncertainty, His presence provides comfort and assurance, a reminder that we are never alone, never forgotten. God's presence is not just a backdrop in our lives, it is active and dynamic. It interacts with our lives, shaping our journeys and guiding our paths. It's in the quiet whispers of our hearts, the sudden insights during prayer, the unexpected blessings that brighten our days, and the strength we find in moments of weakness. And every step we take, God is there, walking alongside us. His presence is a constant reminder of His unending love and faithfulness. As we grow in our faith and deepen our relationship with God, our awareness of His presence becomes more profound. We start to recognize His hand in the intricate details of our lives, seeing His work in the beauty around us, in the people we meet, and in the situations we encounter. This awareness brings a deeper sense of peace and contentment, knowing that in every moment of our existence, we are surrounded by the loving, sustaining presence of God. So, how about God's presence in difficult times? In the midst of life's toughest struggles, when the weight of the world seems to bear down on us, it's easy to feel isolated and overwhelmed. The challenges we face can cloud our vision, making us feel as if we are wandering alone in an endless night. Yet, it's precisely in these hard times that God's presence becomes most tangible. Psalm 23 verses 4 to 5 offers profound comfort, saying, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words paint a picture of a protective shepherd guiding and guarding his flock. Similarly, God walks beside us, his presence a reassuring touch in times of fear and doubt. He is the steady hand that guides us, the comforting voice that quiets our anxieties, and the unwavering light that shines through our darkest hours. His presence transforms our valleys of shadows into journeys of hope and resilience. He doesn't promise a life free from difficulty, 
but he assures us of his constant companionship and support through every trial. This divine companionship is a beacon of hope, reminding us that no night is too dark for his light to penetrate, and no journey is so treacherous that his hand cannot guide us through. God's presence in our difficulties is not only a source of comfort, but also a wellspring of strength. In moments of weakness, when our own strength seems to fail us, his power is made perfect. My friends, the struggles we encounter can often be the very catalysts that deepen our reliance on God, drawing us closer to Him. As we lean into His strength, we find an unexplainable peace and resilience that carry us through. This peace does not come from the absence of trouble, but from the knowledge that God is with us in every circumstance. His strength becomes our shield, His wisdom our guide, and His love our sustaining force. Furthermore, God's presence in hard times shapes our character and refines our faith. Just as gold is purified through fire, our faith is strengthened and refined through the challenges we face. Each trial presents an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop a deeper trust in God's plans and purposes for our lives. These experiences teach us patience, endurance, and hope, molding us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. As we walk through these valleys hand in hand with God, we emerge not only unharmed, but also enriched, carrying with us a testimony of His faithfulness and a renewed spirit of resilience and hope. Next, let us look at recognizing God's guidance. God's guidance in our lives often manifests in ways that are quiet and unassuming, yet their impact is profound and unmistakable. Similar to a gentle breeze that we feel subtly yet surely, this guidance can come in various forms. Through the words of scripture, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of a trusted friend, or even through the quiet stirrings of our hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 6 instructs us, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. This scripture speaks of a partnership with God, where our acknowledgement of his sovereignty opens the doors to his guidance. It's about trusting in his comprehensive plan, even when the road ahead isn't clear to our eyes. Recognizing God's guidance in our lives requires an attuned sense of spiritual awareness. Similar to learning a new language, the language of divine communication. Often, God's guidance is revealed not through dramatic or spectacular events, but in the quiet, seemingly ordinary moments of our daily lives. It might be found in the consistent themes that emerge in our daily devotions, the quiet conviction felt during prayer, or the unexpected words of wisdom from someone we meet. These instances, though small, carry with them the profound weight of God's direction. Proverbs 3 verse 6 is not just an encouragement, but a directive to actively involve God in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we open ourselves to the myriad of ways in which He can guide us. Also, recognizing God's guidance involves an element of patience and waiting. Unlike the instant communication that we've grown accustomed to in our digital age, discerning God's will and direction often requires us to pause and wait. It's in these periods of waiting that our faith is both tested and strengthened. It's important during these times to remain steadfast in prayer and anchored in the Word of God. As we wait, our spiritual ears become more attuned to His voice and our ability to discern His guidance improves. This waiting is an active engagement in seeking God's will, remaining open to His timing and methods. God's guidance often aligns with the gifts and talents He has bestowed upon us. These abilities, though they may seem natural or innate to us, are divine blessings designed to lead us towards God's purpose for our lives. When we use these gifts in service to others and to glorify God, we often find that His guidance becomes clearer. The intersection of our passions, talents, and opportunities to serve can be a powerful indicator of where God is leading us. It's a harmonious blend of our deepest joys and the needs we see in the world around us. Guided by the hand of God, recognizing God's guidance is a multifaceted process that involves staying spiritually attuned, patiently waiting on God's timing, utilizing our God-given talents, and also engaging with other believers as we navigate through life's journey. These aspects work together to help us discern and follow the path that God has laid out for us. Let us look at some biblical examples of God's guidance. The story of Joseph in Genesis is a compelling testament to the intricate and purposeful guidance of God. Joseph's life, marked by betrayal, injustice, and hardship, could easily be seen as a journey of misfortunes. Yet, through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, and God's guiding hand was evident. 
From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being wrongfully imprisoned in Egypt, Joseph endured, and God used these very experiences to prepare him for a greater destiny, becoming a ruler in Egypt, saving many from famine. Joseph's story, found in Genesis 37 to 50, is a powerful reminder that God's guidance often unfolds in ways that we might not immediately understand. It teaches us that our current struggles or setbacks are not indicators of our final destination. God is at work in our lives, weaving together every experience, every challenge, and every triumph to fulfill His graceful and purposeful plan for us. Another profound example is the story of Moses, called by God from a burning bush. Moses was guided to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey was filled with obstacles and challenges, yet at each turn, Moses followed God's guidance, and through him, God performed miraculous deeds. These stories from the Bible encourage us to trust in God's guidance, knowing that He is with us every step of the way, turning our trials into testimonies and our challenges into channels of His blessings and glory. And this is why we need to draw from God's strength. Drawing strength from God is a foundational aspect of our spiritual journey, especially in moments when our own strength seems insufficient. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This scriptural promise isn't about possessing an unending supply of physical energy or intellectual capability, but it speaks to a deep, more profound source of strength, a spiritual fortitude that comes directly from our relationship with God. This divine strength is what empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with courage and unwavering faith. It's a reminder that our abilities, when coupled with God's power, can carry us through any situation. This strength from God is particularly evident in times of trial and adversity. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but true spiritual strength is most visible in moments of weakness when we're faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable or when we're grappling with problems that appear unsolvable. It's the strength that God provides that helps us to persevere. This strength allows us to remain steadfast in our beliefs even when they're tested and to exhibit grace and forgiveness in situations where it seems hardest to do so. It's a strength that doesn't just help us endure, but enables us to thrive, transforming our trials into testimonies of faith. Also, the strength we draw from God is not just for our personal benefit. It also equips us to be a source of support and encouragement to others. Just as Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians, this strength is shared so we can bolster others in their times of need. When we lean on God's strength, we become conduits of His power, offering hope and resilience to those around us. Our ability to extend compassion, offer help, and speak words of encouragement is amplified by the strength we receive from God. In this way, our struggles and victories become shared experiences, creating a community of faith that is strong and supportive. In essence, drawing strength from God means recognizing our own limitations and willingly placing our trust in His infinite power. It's about acknowledging that while we may face difficulties and hardships, we are never alone in these challenges. The strength we draw from God is a wellspring of resilience flowing within us and enabling us to overcome any barrier. It's a testament to the unshakable support and enduring power that we have access to through our faith. As we continue to navigate the journey of life, let us do so with the assurance that the strength we need is always available to us, generously provided by a loving and powerful God. My dear friends, let us hold close the understanding that God is always with us. He is our guide through the darkest nights, our source of strength in the face of adversity, and our constant companion through every step of life's journey. Our exploration today affirms that God's presence, guidance, and strength are ever-present in our lives. They are the compass that directs us, the shield that protects us, and the light that illuminates our path. Even in moments when we might feel alone or uncertain, let us remember that God's presence is as sure as the ground beneath our feet and the sky above our heads. His guidance is the map that helps us navigate through life's challenges, and His strength is the anchor that keeps us steady in turbulent seas. With this knowledge and faith, let us move forward, embracing each day with confidence and hope knowing that God is always standing by us. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, 
I come before you with a heart full of praise and thanksgiving. You are the creator of all, the eternal king, and the source of all life. Your majesty and glory surpass all understanding. I praise you, Lord, for you are mighty, and your steadfast love endures forever. You are the unchanging light in our lives and the solid rock on which we stand. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the breath of life, and for your presence that surrounds me. Thank you for being my guide, my strength, and my protector. Thank you for your promises to strengthen me, help me, and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse me with your grace and guide me in the path of righteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your peace and love. Lord, as I navigate through life, let me always feel your guiding presence, leading me along the right path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy. I bind every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, and confusion. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I ask for your healing touch upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and let your power manifest in our lives. Lord, I pray for your protection over us. Guard us from harm and shield us from the snares of the enemy. Lead us away from temptation. I pray for blessings upon our lives. Bless our homes, the work of our hands, and our relationships. I ask for your daily provision in our lives, trusting in your promise to meet all our needs according to your riches and glory. Grant us our daily bread and sustain us with your grace and abundance each day. Let your favor and grace follow us in all that we do. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your guidance, strength, and love to be evident in our lives. As we face life's challenges, help us to remember that you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your light shine through us. Lord, we claim victory in your name. We speak life and health into every part of our being, trusting in your miraculous power to renew and heal. May every broken spirit be mended, every physical ailment be healed, and every troubled mind find peace in your loving embrace. We give thanks for your protection and guidance. Cover us with your grace and love. May your divine peace settle deep within us, calming our anxieties, soothing our fears, and providing a steadfast anchor in the midst of life storms. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited, and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. 
This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust and decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about his perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand 
This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging, as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number 6. Persevering in Faith Despite Challenges The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, 
Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number seven, walking in faith, not by sight. The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown Trusting in God's word sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, 
and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen.